Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I have a fun project of something that I'm actually making for some of my family, my sisters, my, my granddaughters, my daughters. I got all of these nail stickers for your fingers for Christmas and they're green ones and red ones and they're all different designs and shapes and colors. There's even one that has a polar bear on it. I think I'm gonna keep that one for myself. But this is what I'm gonna make. I'm going to make a card with this nail polish set on the front and it's gonna say, you sparkle. So I thought I would just go through how I'm making these with you and just give you some ideas of some fun things you can do. I'm actually going to be making like a little folder to put those nail stickers on the inside of this card. So stay tuned. I have these paper packs from Honey Bee Stamps, and these are a couple of their Christmas packs, which have some really great designs in them. They are beautiful. And I'm taking this diagonal stitched uh, frame. Well, it's kind of like a cover die, actually. This is from Lawn Fawn, and it looks like candy cane stripes. And I'm just going to glue that over the top and then glue the entire thing to a Nina Desert Storm paper. So I have this as a card and I've already done all of these ones here because I'm mass producing these for a big group. So I think I'm making 10 or 12 of these, quite a few. And so I've already die cut a lot of my elements and I'm gonna show you the difference here. So look here, there's two different kinds you can make. This one here has a frame around it, a black frame, and this other one does not have a frame. And I'm sorry, I'm a little off screen here. I have too many die cuts <laughs> up there at the top, but you'll be able to see this in a little bit. And then there's this little bottom piece here that looks like the bottom of the nail polish bottle. I decided to cut that out of some holographic paper, and I think it looks really great because I had these little tiny scraps. Yes, I saved those. <laughs> I saved those scraps from another project I was doing, and it was perfect, just the perfect size to cut out the holographic um, paper for the nail polish bottles. So I'm gonna glue those to the bottom and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put all of these together. This is the dice that I'm using. It's from Honey Bee and it has a card base, but I cut it apart because I just wanted it for the front of my card. And so these are the pieces I'm using right here. And then it also has this piece, which is the outline that I showed you. And then I cut it one more time from the for the inside piece so that it would be red glitter paper. And this is just gorgeous. It is so fun to make these nail polish bottles. And by the way, right now they are on the um, sale section or the clearance and retiring section, I can't remember, but uh, at a really good deal. And so I got this, I think it was Black Friday when I purchased it because they were having a, an even bigger sale. But you, if these are going then and you want to get these, then head on over. I've linked it below so you can take a look. But I thought these would be super cute for a little girl's party invitation or spa day or mm, a tea party even, a book club or a girl's day, day out or ladies who lunch group. I always wanted to be a lady who lunches. Just really cute and fun. So I'm gonna put these together and you saw on that one with the outline that I just taped that inside piece in. So that's the difference in putting these two together. And I thought it would look really pretty with a black mirror card stock for that top of the nail polish bottle, but I couldn't find my mirror card stock. So I just used a pearlized one here. I thought it might be faster to cut these holly leaves and berries out of a white cardstock and then just color them with my Copics to get the colors I wanted. I might have been wrong on that. <laughs> it might have been faster to cut them out with colored cardstock, but I did have a good time coloring these up regardless. And I found that the fastest way was to use the chisel tip edge of the medium green and not do so much blending because in the end, you really couldn't see it that much anyway. They were mostly looking at the glitter cardstock. So why spend all the time adding shadows and blending these leaves? So eventually I kind of ditched this process and just colored them with the chisel end. And I got them all done pretty quickly that way. 
So I'm going to set those aside and show you that I cut these pieces out with some glitter cardstock in gold and also some green cardstock. And I'm going to kind of mix and match those for each one. And then I also die cut, I stamped this sparkle sentiment and die cut it out with the matching dies. Now this stamp set is a smaller nail polish bottle. So if you're wanting to do a smaller project, then you can use that. But for this one, I wanted the larger nail polish bottles. And here's how I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna to use some foam tape on the back of those nail polish bottles so they just stand right out. So they, they're like 3D on this card. And then I'm just gonna glue down those branches, the pine needle branches, or pine leaves, I guess. And then I'm gonna take off that backer and put all of that down that's on foam tape and look how fast these are to put together. The longest part was all the die cutting, I think. And then once I had all the elements and I just started assembling, they came together very, very quickly. So look how cute this is gonna be. And there I'm gonna put those nail polish strips in my folder. So here's how I did it. I put together all of the bottles, then I started adding the sparkle sentiment on all of them, and then I added a U over the top of that. This same die set has a, a U, Y-O-U die cut, and they're just itty bitty letters, but they fit so perfectly in between that sparkle word, just like that, that I couldn't resist. I thought, this, this is like a match made in heaven right here. So I went ahead and die cut all those little itty bitty letters and glued them on, and now we're ready to make the folder. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one other piece of six by six paper, cut it in half so they're three inches, and then I'm gonna cut them down so they will fit inside of the card. Now, I knew that I wanted to score them at, I think, a quarter inch. So instead of cutting it at four and a half, I cut it at four and three quarters, and I scored it on each side at a quarter inch. Well, at least the right and the left side and the bottom side. So three sides of this get scored at a quarter inch score line. And then I realized, see I'm making kind of a prototype on this first one, but I left this in to show you that I perfected this measurement a little bit later. So I, when I put that in, I realized it's just a little too big because it comes right up to the edge. And when you close that, you can see the flap sticking out of the edge and I didn't want that. So instead I cut it down another like eighth of an inch, I think. And then I scored it at quarter inch on each side. So I redid that score line on that side. And this time I had to just score it over to the left. I just decided it was easier if I scored them all on the left side. It just, it was easier to measure because it's kind of an odd measurement. And then I folded all those and then when I put it in, it's not gonna fold out over the edge. So that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna add one of those to each side with some score tape. And you can see that now one piece of six by six paper is going to make the whole inside of the folder. And what I did is I just used different designs because all of these honeybee designs kind of go together. So it didn't matter which one you picked and which one was on the outside and which one was on the inside. It all looked like it went together really great for Christmas. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off those corners so that way it folds a little bit easier and it's less bulky on the inside. I'm adding the score tape and I found that if I removed all the score tape at once but then just put one of the, uh, the left side down first or the right side either way, whichever one was towards the inside, put that one down first and then the bottom section, then the right side would go together perfectly. I hope that makes sense. One side and then the other. And then you can just slide in those nail strips and there is a really cute gift. So I went ahead and put this one in, trying to get it perfect. As you can see, that's very sticky tape. And it worked out really, really great. So this makes it a little sturdier on the inside, but it also gives it a little more bulk. So just so you know, it's not gonna fully close all the way like a regular card, cause it's got all that bulkiness on the inside, but it also feels more like a gift that way. So that's just fine. I got these emery boards to stick inside 
And I just wanted to mention that I actually had purchased some really sparkly, pretty emery boards that were Christmas colors, but that package got stolen or lost because it never arrived. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm getting a refund on that, hopefully soon. So I'm just cutting all of the paper so that I have it all cut and then I'll go ahead and score them all at the same time. And I found that doing it kind of like this way in batch style, it made it a lot quicker. So I went ahead and put them all together off screen and now I'm gonna show you the outside compared to the inside. I like to mix up the reds and the greens and it just makes for a really fun pop of color on the inside of this card slash gift <laughs> little folder. Just really, really cute. I hope these recipients are gonna love them. I know they will. But look at all the different fun designs. These are gonna be a hit. Now I was gonna make some envelopes handmade to go with them, but I didn't want to clash with that paper that I had used. So I ended up just putting these in some clear plastic sleeves and closing down the top of them just like a clear envelope. And then I put the labels of the names of the recipients on them. So when you hand them out, they're gonna get a little sparkle and it will be really fun. I can't wait to give these out. I hope you enjoyed a look at this process today and maybe got some ideas for gifts for yourself as well. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out with YouTube. And thanks for all the kind comments as well. I hope you have a very happy holiday season. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.